all right so uh today we'll be talking about something very interesting something very um very enticing basically because i've done a couple of episode uh, precursors to this particular topic uh last year i talked a lot about diversification last year diversify 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 eventually a lot of my investors um joined the mantra and joined the motto so a couple of you guys remember you are talking to me now you say ah Rabbi, you know you tell us to diversify so i don't want to buy too too many plots here yeah so i get it so then um after the diversification then i talked about compounding which is at the point where you will now start using more returns to make more returns so we are now at the third level now so if you understand that diversification that's primary compounding that's secondary so now we want to graduate you guys to the tertiary level now and that's repurposing so in case you are coming across a video like this for the first time please meet the property Guy property channel and this will discuss everything real estate for first time investors and anyone um who is looking at the nigeria market and want to look at the opportunities here this is your go-to channel because you talk about documents you talk about risk you talk about return on investment talk about locations real estate developers opportunities in the market and basically everything behind the scene that you should be aware of every clauses every terms and condition that you should know when you want to make money from real estate here in nigeria so um, after watching this particular episode i will also suggest you go to our playlist playlist on short play playlist on real estate companies playlist on property reviews property analysis real estate master class real estate investor series interview session q a session once you go to these different playlists there are just a lot for you to learn there are just a lot of videos for you to watch and for the next hours minutes you are glued to our channel so let's go into the topic repurposing in real estate what does it mean so uh before we talk about repurposing and uh, we go deep into the topic uh this another opportunity for you to subscribe if you have not been watching our videos you've been learning from our content you have not subscribed yet we really really want you to subscribe regardless of the location you are in, you are watching us from guys in the us in the uk is in nigeria here is in africa regardless we want to subscribe we want to be part of the property guy channel and because we are going to start a, mem a, mem a membership and i know a couple of you guys have been watching us for two years for three years for over a year we don't want you to miss out so um we want you to subscribe to our videos we want you to turn on the notification button i've done that already so that as we are dropping these topics this content you get notified and you can always always enjoy whatever that we are sharing so like i said before um is three levels we've talked about diversification which is the point where you have a particular fund and you are trying to build a portfolio for yourself you have land banking you have cash flow properties you have um your land banking you have your land banking in lagos in abuja in Ogun states in Porta court in other states then in lagos also you have your land banking in ekpe in bejuleki songotedo and so on like that so basically the diversification is you are not uh putting all your eggs in one basket you are spreading your nets based on purpose based on objective based on location now after you have now spread your nets and you have these different investments these different um different uh projects that you have put your money into and they are now start they have start yielding profits they have start yielding returns your apartment now is now you have rented out they are collecting the rent your land it has matured you have sold and you have now um made, made profits so compounding is at the point where you now collect these profits and then return it back into your investment to make more profit with it now the third level the third stage that you all have graduated to now is repurposing repurposing is the level where we convert a particular real estate asset to a different objective for it to continue making profit for us now for example you have a land let's say for example you bought it in residential so you bought it for land banking for example now so the land have gone from 16.5 million maybe in five years and then now it's like maybe 120 million now you can now repurpose the purpose meaning that you now go to the land that okay i don't use this land for land banking again now what can i do here okay let me build and sell oh or okay i don't have the fund to build and sell 
let me do JV here. Let me find a developer. I have my land. Developer build on it, and then we split. We share profits. So that's repurposing. Another example is you have an apartment, and then you are using the apartment for shortlets. Then after like five, six years, there are so many shortlets in, in that particular location, and the market has become so competitive and so saturated. So now look at it that okay, all right, all right, all right. So this short market of cast. What can we do here? Okay, let me do shared apartment. Let me do co-living. Let me do convert this apartment to maybe two one bed, or let me convert it to three studio apartment so I can continue making money. So that's what we mean by repurposing. So it's quite very important that as at the point that you are investing in a particular asset, in a particular location you add repurposing to your plan now let me give you an example what, what i mean by that so you have 60 million and then you want to buy a property and that one, someone is offering you a two-bed apartment apartments so that like maybe 12 in that in that particular building they're only offering you one for 60 million <laughs> then someone else is offering you um four blocks of two-bedroom apartment in another location for 60 million <laughs> now the two bed apartment for 60 million because of the location you can use that for shortlets which means that you can make more make more return <laughs> now the four blocks of apartment for 60 million is likely because of the location you may not be able to use it for shortlets you can only use it for rental now but when it comes to repurposing the entire game changes because if you buy a two bed apartment for 60 million you are limited and restricted to the amount of repurposing that you can do there which means that once the shortlet markets in that location have cast what you can only do with that shortlet without two-bed apartments maybe to convert it to annual rent or to convert it to monthly rent or to convert it to shortlet apartments but if you buy that four blocks of two-bedroom apartments even in the future you can decide that oh okay um this location is like this location have changed uh, is experiencing urbanization you can break down the entire four bed um four blocks of flats and rebuild it or maybe three floors or four floors just to have more apartments and make more profits or can decide that okay um is um four blocks of two bedrooms that we have here i want to change it i'm not i want the entire building so you can change it to maybe eight one bed you can change it to maybe um six one bed and four studio apartments because you have realized that it's like this location now there are less family people here and there are more of working class people here who are just maybe outside nyc as, as they're starting their career on the, on the on their first job so you repurpose so which means that by you owning the entire building and the entire land you have more leverage on repurposing compared to you just having one single block of apartment in that building so that's why i said you should always add repurposing to your plans right from when you are building and that's why land buying land is the best land gives you all the leverage you can convert that land at maturity to uh, do a jv there at maturity do a build and sell there at maturity do a build and rent there at maturity build, do a build and short let there at maturity do even split sell so you have 1200 square meter in a place or 1500 square meter in a place you can start selling it 300 square meter or 400 square meter so you are, you are going to make more money from that from that investment land but with house you are limited in terms of repurposing and even more limited when you only have a unit in a particular block the same thing also applies to a terrace you buy a terrace building you are going to also understand that you have like four buildings or five buildings in that room that share a common roofing so which means that regardless of how that location looks like in the future you cannot demolish your own building and do something else there because it's going to affect others even just to change your roofing you are going to have to be careful with it because it's likely also going to affect others too so compared to maybe when you buy a semi-detached or when you buy a fully detached house so these are all the different things you need to consider about repurposing because repurposing is one way that you can make a particular real estate asset that have reached its peak 
to continue giving funds for you and making money for you places like around baiga around the yaba that people built um face me and face you around 20 years ago around 15 years ago a lot of those buildings have reached their peak in terms of what they can produce but with repurposing a lot of developers now they are going there bringing down those face me and face you bungalows are now going three floors two floors four floors to build studio apartments room self one bed apartment and two bed apartments where they can make times four of what that particular tenement or face me and face you house was uh, producing before so the proposing is a very very great tool that an investor can use to continue making money and squeezing out more cash for a particular asset even when that asset have reached its peak so as, as it's important for you to diversify as, as it's important for you to spread your investment have farmland have residential plots have commercial plots then um invest in cash flow also have one bed have to do apartments have two bed apartments so that all your investment will not just be land banking land banking land banking as you are waiting for those land to mature you have the apartments right there giving you funds you need emergency funds for your kids you need emergency funds for your health you need your emergency funds for, for travel those cash flow can be given you you don't touch your land banking and you have land banking too you have land banking at different maturity periods you buy a pair to keep for maybe seven to ten years you buy some good do to keep for maybe three to four years you buy a bamadi sonia to keep for maybe two years you buy a baduri to keep for maybe one year at different different locations with different different maturity so that you don't just have to wait long donkey years for one location but you have it in several locations at different maturity period so while you are waiting for one one is maturing you are cashing out from one and why with repurposing with repurposing now you can always sit down and look at your assets that okay what can i do with this uh you've been using this particular property for social purpose for a while you know there are some land maybe before you have a commercial plot facing the major road and then you lease out the land someone is using that land to um store their products or as a depot then after a while you look at it that okay what can we do here all right is is facing the third road okay let's do an event event center here that's repurposing okay it's facing the third road okay let's do a supermarket here that's repurposing so you do a supermarket you use it for a couple of years then you look at it okay uh seems you can do more with this land you bring down the building then you do three floors supermarket on down floor middle floor for hall then the upper floor for maybe a lounge or a club or a bar or whatever that you want to use it for that's also repurposing so repurposing is one way for you to continue making a real estate asset valuable so regardless of the particular threshold or the particular uh, the particular timeline a particular location is <coughs> you can always repurpose your asset there for it to continue because um, to still remain valuable so you have a land in the, in the right now you are, you are using it for your farm then after a couple of years you look at the trend in the location you can say okay this place have opened up all right so let's repurpose let's build one bed and two bed here then you have that for a while again you look at it that okay seems that like we can do some commercial activities here also let's repurpose let's repurpose let's repurpose so and that's why you want us to handle your portfolio a lot of these numbers a lot of these um very important analysis about diversifying about compounding about repurposing you can search it on net you can search it online you are not going to see it anywhere else you are not going to see any real talk telling you about this you know so i can also ask and engage your real talk okay this investment that you are telling me about what can i use it for okay in five years time and then this location change what can i use this location for okay if i want to spend my portfolio how do i spend my portfolio so you want someone knowledgeable you want someone capable you want someone that understand the markets to also be the one adding your portfolio so at, at each time at each season at each period we can always advise you about what is going to sell there at that period at that moment and likely what can also sell there what can also um, what you can also use that property for even in five years time in six years time so we are already thinking about it right now 
which is what a lot of we Nigerians don't do. We don't plan long term. We like planning six months, three months. We should be planning six years, eight years, twelve years. That's that's just the best way to 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 live, basically. So these these are also another fantastic way for you to also handle your property port portfolio, your real estate portfolio. You are looking at an asset, and in your head and your in your mind, you are already looking at seven years, six years in that particular location, and already asking yourself, what will I be using this asset for? This property for in seven years time all right so if you have any um question for us any feedback for us regarding these feel free to drop our, your drop your comments and hear your view uh we will definitely listen to that based on maybe where you have your property where you have your assets and uh, maybe the demand have slowed down the appreciation have slowed down and you're looking at what you can do to spice it up and to um, repurpose that particular portfolio uh, that particular asset that particular property so that the value goes up the cash flow goes up and the income is producing also goes up i'm definitely going to assist you with that i'm definitely going to assist you with that so uh, you can drop your comments or you can feel free to wish us on, on whatsapp also my whatsapp number is always on the screen uh you can send me a dm and you can look at the best way we can um, be of assistance to you based on your assets based on your property and what best we feel that you can repurpose that particular um, asset for if you enjoy this content don't forget to give us a thumb like don't forget to give us a thumb like and this host reminding you again humbly reminding you again to subscribe to our channel uh we really, really want you to subscribe we would love you to subscribe to our content to our channel and um, we really want to want want to have you as part of the um mtpg family as we roll out our membership we also want you to be part of the founding members <laughs> for our membership we're going to have it in ca different categories and we want you to be part of it because uh we are going to have different segments of content for different members so, so i don't need to complain that i can only watch three minutes of the video i can't watch the full video because she's not signed up as a member so kindly subscribe kindly invite um your peeps your contacts share our content with, with them also tell them about the fantastic work we are doing the fantastic content we are putting out there and how much they can learn by by following our channel so i still remain you know the property of the planet your property advisor your party consultant rabbi mustafa thanks for watching our video and see you next time